just wanted to show you the DLAN kiosk. Uh, this is also available on software um, only as well if you want to use your own hardware. But this is the complete kiosk as you see it now. So a lovely large screen, has all the uh, attachments here so you can plug your cables in, CD player and uh, card readers there as well. Um, on this here, this can literally work on any printer. We've got this connected to a Citizen uh, CX02 printer today. Uh, but literally this will work with any printer or any printer with a driver. Um, on here as well, there's a lot of different products and stuff. I'll show you some of the, the back end in a minute. Uh, but initially I'll just show you how, how the print process works and how easy it is. Um, we just put a few key products on this screen here now. Uh, so if I go to prints, um, and you can see all the different ways you can connect your devices. Uh, I've got an Android phone, so I'm going to click Android. And to be honest with you, the cables and things like that are fairly redundant now on this kiosk because of this, this feature here, which is 4G light. And what it does is it comes up with a QR code. And on most phones now, the camera automatically will pick up the QR code. And it, goes, it connects straight to the machine. So I haven't had to connect to a, a Wi-Fi network. I haven't had to do anything else other than it opens a web page. So I select my photos. And which one are prints? And you select how many you want to do, and done. And it goes straight onto the kiosk there. Really quick, really simple. It just negates all that plugging in the cable, you know, having to accept the device, things like that. So if I hit next, these are all the photos here. So here I'll just select the ones I want to print. Now, uh, you know, I could select all of them and, and take them off later, but to be honest with you, I'll, I'll just select one of these. This is the print cube, which we'll show you later as well. Then you select your size. Again, whatever printer you've got, you can just select the size on, it doesn't matter. So we've just set up a four by six and six by eight. And then these are all the finishes that this printer uh, does, which the kiosk automatically will pick up. So I'll just do a glossy. Then here you can see uh, it's shot in a different um, ratio, so you can crop this as however you want. So we'll just do that next. And you can also then do the color correction, black and white, things like that. Same as any other kiosk. Next. Summary of the order. You can add more products if you want. And then you can put in a reference. This can be taken off if you wish. You don't have to have this bit on here, but the whole thing, you can just adjust this to however you want it, want it to work and it's now going to print from the printer. And there it is. So just to give you a little bit of the background on how the kiosk works in terms of features, it's the two bottom corners, and it brings up the menu here. This Again, this can be password locked as well to stop people getting in. We just left it open because it's just us here doing this. So you can review the orders here. It lists everything down there. Much, you know, every kiosk has a similar feature. And then on the settings here, you can literally, you know, you can uh, put this to any printer you want. So if we, for example, these are the ones that are preloaded on. Uh, I guess these are sort of popular ones, but it will actually work with anything with a print with a, a driver. So if you connect any printer to this and you go to register printers, it'll actually pick it up in this list here. So it doesn't even have to be anything that's recognized there. And then the products here, you can see these are sort of all done as, as, as default. Um, you can also add like a, in, in terms of gifting items as well, you can then you know, add in your own ones if you had snow globe blocks or anything like that as well, that can all be added in. Um, and then also, just one more note is the diagnosing section. You can then uh, load team, you know, team view is preloaded on. So if you need to do any support or remote support or, you know, we need to help you, you just hit team viewer, it loads it up and off you go. And then just quit application, restart, reboot, things like that. Um, so just to give you a rough idea, how it's a very flexible unit.